So I wanted to uh, give an opportunity for those uh, students who were not able to take part in the online orientation class to have this quick video to run through what we did during the SOAR session and allow you to do uh, it on your own uh, with the hope that you might be able to um, get some of the experience and also um, be ready for uh, school in terms of uh, accessing our virtual platforms. So first of all, um, you need to log into Google Apps um, and that is using our Westminster Tools information that was sent to you over the summer. Um, if you do not know how to access your Google Apps, uh, you need to contact me at mdcanner at westminster-school.org uh, and I will send that information to you. You log in as you would log into another Gmail account and once you're in there you're going to be in uh, the Google platform which will allow you to uh, access a number of Google Apps which we'll use uh, throughout the school year. So first and foremost is Gmail and I just want to spend a minute or two talking about Gmail and setting it up over the summer so that you're ready to use it during the school year. Um, as you can see, um, mine is customized a little bit with the background so I can tell where I am. Um, the settings on any of the Google apps are over here on the right where the gear menu is. Um, I'm going to first look at configure inbox and notice that I take out all the tabs that uh, Gmail by default uses. Uh, this is so that it will uh, sort emails for you. Um, some people find that useful. I did not, so I removed that. So I have just a single place for all of my, my email to go. Uh, under settings, uh, there are a couple settings I'd like to look at with you. And again, this is something which you can really explore. Um, with uh, the time that you have remaining before school begins. Um, so under general, a couple things that you may want to look at. Um, how many conversations you want per page uh, really uh, determines how many times you want to click through um, uh, different screens to look at conversations. Um, another thing that is important to set is default reply behavior. Uh, I like reply. That's usually what I do is reply to sender um, rather than reply all. You always have the option to choose reply all, um, but this keeps you from replying to everyone when you were meant to reply just to the person who wrote. I like conversation view as opposed to not. Um, conversation view groups all your emails together. So to give you a look at this, um, here is 11 emails uh, that are part of this um, that are part of this and you can see that those 11 emails um, are all grouped together. Uh, here's another three emails that are part of a conversation down here. So again I've seen uh, these all these emails have the same topic and same theme and so they don't occupy multiple strings. So I'd like to have the conversation view for that. Um, lastly on this page I'd like to just show um, the enable unsend 30 seconds cancellation period. So after you hit an email and then realize, oops, I meant to say something else, you have the option to hit undo. Uh, and I think that is a, that is a good thing to have. Uh, another thing that I've put into this space under general is my picture so that people, when they see, uh, see me in, in this space, they know who they are writing to. Uh, and I actually also use a signature. So uh, there was more than one more thing here in terms of uh, to show under general. Uh, an important thing here to do in Gmail is under accounts and import to select send mail as and to use the default as your westminster-school.org account. Make that your default rather than Westminster Tools. Um, that way you'll always receive and reply to emails as you can see here uh, using that westminster-school.org you may not care, but most people, I think, you like to use that um, that address, westminster-school.org, as opposed to Westminster Tools. Both both uh, addresses will go to the same inbox. There are other things to check out in settings, but we're going to go now to look at another Google app, um, Calendar. So if you click on the app button, Calendar is the next Google app I'm going to show you quickly. And we really encourage people to think about using Calendar. Um, you can very easily organize your own life as well as school life uh, using Calendar. And it's a good habit to get into in terms of organization. Um, one thing I will show you once we're on the on campus is how to get your Westminster events into this space. 
Um, so you can see that starting tomorrow, we have a, or next week, we have a lot of Westminster events in this space. And these um, are going to occupy that full week. And if I look at it day by day, I can see all of those things that are appearing. Now, that might be a little bit too busy. So I can always make different uh, calendars appear or disappear uh, based on just clicking on the side uh, of that calendar. Um, I have my own personal calendar as well as a family calendar in this space. So that allows me to organize uh, different, different pieces of life here in this one area. Um, lastly, in terms of Google Apps, uh, Google Drive is a uh, space that you should be familiar with in terms of um, managing documents and spreadsheets and presentations that you may use for different classes. You can see here that I have uh, lots of different folders. Uh, so similar to my uh, computer desktop, I organize the different documents, Google Docs, uh, based on different categories. Um, this is a space, again, where if you start well organized, it will really help later on down the road in terms of using this. Um, I'd like to now go to our on-campus setting. And again, as a new student to the school, uh, you're joining uh, the school in getting to, actually I'll, I'll back it up even further, into using this new uh, learning management system and database. So this is our Westminster School uh, website. And on this website, from any page, you can click on Login. In login space, you can enter your username and password. You may not know what those are. They are not the same as your Google password and username. If you do not know what they are, click on Forgot Your Login and enter your email address. So my son's email address would be this. Notice that I use a hyphen school.org address and not Westminster Tools address. I will ask to get my username and password, and that will then send an email directly to my Gmail account. So again, you put in your Westminster School address in here, hit send, and those that information will be sent to you as an email. If you do not see it in your inbox, it may be in your spam folder, so please check that. Once you have that information, you can go back to your login and log into this screen. Now when we're in on campus, um, I'm obviously looking at this as a faculty member, but students will have similar views. So you have a stripe along the top, which will be the same in any of the area that you're in. Um, you'll, yours will say student here instead of faculty member. Under your name, a couple things that you may uh, look at. Again, you have fewer options, but you may want to look at your profile information. and you will be able to change uh, some of that information here just a little bit. Um, you may put your personal email in here. So you can see that my personal email is under my CC email. That's if I'd like people to have that personal email account. Similarly, uh, you may want to add, and I, we suggest you add your wireless or mobile phone number into this space so that people can reach you on your mobile device. Um, so you should be able to add a new phone number and add your mobile phone number into profile. Next, under settings, uh, your username, you can change that to something shorter if, you, if it is available, and uh, a password that uh, is able to be changed here in this space as well. Notifications allows you to receive messages and other things as email and text, but you do have to enter your text number in yourself and your email in yourself. Um, the email will send you the full uh, script of text of a message, and a message is something that's an internal uh, messaging system to this system. A text will just notify you that you have received a message, so you have to go into the system to see it. Um, and then you can see I use both email and text uh, for things like messages and game changes. Um, now going into the next stripe down, you can see some different features. Many of you guys are going to be spending a lot of your time in the my day portion of this. So when we get to something where things are actually happening, we can see that there will be a list of classes that will appear in my day, um, as well as sports and practice events. Uh, that's not yet appearing. Um, and so you can see uh, when different things that you will be doing will be happening during that day. Um, 
assignment center is looking at just assignments for specific periods of time and you can select when they were assigned or when they do my suggestion is to when they're due um, and then look at them week you know, over a week basis or day by day um, as you're getting into uh, more things being due at different times um, your classes are your specific class information and one of the classes that you should have is SOAR which is our online orientation class this gives you a little information about that SOAR program and what is happening here in terms of uh, the expectations for the class and that's going to be true for um, most of your classes the bulletin board will give you an overview of the class under topics you'll receive more information about what's happening in the class and we're going to dig into that right now um, reading and writing one of the things that uh, we're asking new students to do is to uh, go in and think about uh, our core values. Our four core values are CCBI, community, character, balance, and involvement. We want them to think about them a little bit in terms of what they mean to, to you as a, as a person as you're entering a small boarding school community. And then we want you to think about them in the context of responding to a short essay. So here's the essay that we would like you to respond to. And the way we would like you to respond to it is through a Google Doc, which you share with your instructor. Um, in this case, if you haven't, don't have an assigned instructor, please share with me, Mark DeCanner. And again, this is a short one to two paragraph response to this essay about what the author was trying to say about community and community values in this short essay. The second assignment, I'm going to go back here to my second unit, is on research analysis and presentation. So one of the things that is true in a small school, uh, boarding school, is that you're going to have classes that are small in terms of number of students. So you're going to be a very active participant in these classes. And so one of the things we wanted you to do uh, early on was to learn how to make give a presentation and be comfortable speaking in a small group. So with this Google Hangout we asked students to give a presentation on the state. And here's a set of statistics uh, that I copied from the US Census Bureau about 18 to 34 year olds in Connecticut and I wanted to use this as a sample to show people how um, I might then give a presentation about what is happening with 18 to 34 year olds over the last 30 years you can see their numbers are dropping in Connecticut and in the nation as a whole their income is dropping and they're living with their parents in greater numbers. But this type of information is somewhat limited in terms of just being numbers. So to really do analysis, we need to look at a more in-depth version of things. So here is the same information, a little bit more information as well. And you can see, for instance, here's the Connecticut population, and here is the change over those 30 years. So in Connecticut, it dropped significantly, 22% from 1990 to 2000, and has risen only slightly since then. Well, nationwide, while it dropped 1990 to 2000, it rose much more rapidly as a, as a country as a whole. Similarly, looking at the living with parents just as numbers is not as significant as looking at as a percentage. So you can see that there wasn't much of a change. In fact, it dropped a little bit in Connecticut over the first 20 years, but then had a major leap in the last 15 years. As more and more students have found it difficult to, uh, to live alone. Sorry for the short interruption there. Just got pulled away. Uh, but to finish up, what this presentation will ask you to do is also not only look at numbers, but if possible, look at uh, things with graphs. So here's living at home, um, and you can see that this is the United States, and now graphically we can see that that number has increased significantly uh, in the last 10 years. Uh, as compared to Connecticut, where it's always been higher than the United States as a whole, but had a similar big jump uh, in the last 10 years. Uh, also, median income higher in Connecticut than in the rest of the country, but has had a steady fall since 1990, while the U.S. actually continued to rise for that age group until 2000 and then dropped uh, afterwards. Um, so you can use graphs to graphically show um, how uh, this information can be made sense of. Um, going back now to our 
SOAR project. Um, if this is something that uh, you have not been able to do, if you're able to uh, write a quick response and share a Google Doc with me, I would appreciate it. Um, this is a little bit of a bigger task since we aren't going to be able to meet one-on-one. -on -one. But if you would like to take on this task of uh, doing a presentation, you can do a screencast, and that means recording your screen, similar to what I'm doing now, um, and shoot the video to me, that would be great. However, I understand that's a lot more work. And truthfully, all that I care about is that you're able to get in here and get a little bit of the lay of the land to see these different features that you're going to be using a lot um, in the coming weeks as a new student at the school. So being able to see a calendar and how uh, it shows all of your events in the school, uh, your individual events, uh, it will show your assignments, your class times, and your meeting times, including practices, will all appear on these calendar event. Um, see where your classes will be and your groups that you're involved with. So this is more important than actually completing those other things. But if you would like to do it as practice, uh, I certainly uh, would like to see it. Uh, thank you for spending the time in getting oriented, and please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to me with questions about either our Google applications or our on-campus uh, learning management suite.